Hi everyone, Tasha here with Butterfield Alpaca Ranch. Welcome to another day in the life of an alpaca rancher or alpaca farmer. We're called both things. But today I want to show you something interesting that I do um, because I don't have a tractor. I really wish I did, but it's just kind of out of the budget at the moment. So I have to find other ways of doing what a tractor would do. And today I'm gonna to show you specifically how I move a large round bale of hay or alfalfa. I say or straw, but no, straw I get small bales. But that is by using this contraption called a bale dolly. And it attaches to the back of my pickup. And let me show you how this works. So the way this works is I'm going to back up to a bale, to the end of the bale, like the flat end, and the flat end will be along here, and then I'm going to take this spear, which is attached to the end of a cable. I'll undo this cable, and the spear will be attached, it'll go over the bale and ins be inserted into the other side of it. Then by moving this handle, I'll bring the cable back up into this, and in the process it's gonna lift up that bale, and then I'll be able to move it. alpaca owners that prefer to use the small bales simply because alpacas and llamas don't eat a whole lot but in my area those the small bales are pretty hard to come by and when you do they can be pricey so the most economical thing for me to do is get these large round bales in fact these bales are off of my own hay field but if I were to have 
the person I hired to bail them for me, put them into small bales, there's going to be an extra fee, actually a per bale fee, whereas there is not so with these large bales. And that's just because of the area that I'm in. This is what everyone does. That's what they have the equipment to do. So I have developed a way of actually being able to use these. And you saw the way in which I backed this bale up. Uh, you know, when I picked it up, the round end was on the ground. And now I took it off in such a way that the flat end is on the ground. And then I just unwrapped the top half. <laughs> Always a show, huh? <laughs> Um, and I do that because alpacas and llamas, in my experience, when I unwrap the whole thing, they like to rub up against it. And that causes more of it to fall on the ground. And the stuff that's on the ground, they're not so keen about. They prefer to lay on it rather than eat it, and so it creates a lot of waste. Now you can see over on the right side, this is the older boy's pasture. And the bale that they have, see how it just kind of is unfolded over time and they pick at it as they want. These older boys, they don't use their bale so much because they have all this. But my younger boys have a much smaller pasture and so they go through this quicker. And on the other side of the one I just brought is the remnants of the last bale. <laughs> so you could tell it is hay and there's a little bit of mound there um, but they've pretty much torn this apart and eaten all of it and that's why I brought them a new one and this will last them quite a while in my experience I have found that one of these large bales will last one month for every 12 alpacas and that's kind of been my rule of thumb This is Ever Ready and Vinny, for those of you who don't know, and Thunder, who most of you should know by now because I mentioned him in my I'm Back video. Who else do we have over here? I believe that's Latte. Him and Mocha Joe are, are easy to mix up, especially when they got his face down in there. Yeah, that's Latte. Some of you might be interested in learning how to acquire one of these. And the one I have here actually belongs to some friends of mine. Um, you remember me talking about Thunder's owner, who is a snowbird and who let me use his property for the first three years I lived in Nebraska with my alpacas. His sons have this because they have the family farm now. And before they 
had tractors. They used this to move bales for their cows. And they saw this type of thing uh, that someone else had owned, and then they made their own homemade version of it. I know you can buy them. You can search for bale dolly, or they're, they're under different names. I'm not quite sure what else they'd be called, but um, to move bales, a, a bale trailer might be another thing that they're called. But you can buy them for sure, or you can make them. Like I said, this is a homemade one that was just welded together with parts that they had. Um, and you can, it's pretty simple for those of you who like to build things and can weld. You might just want to build one of these on your, your own if you don't have a tractor. And there you have it. That is how I move one of the large round bales without a tractor. Now it does take quite a bit longer than if I had a tractor, but it's better than not having one at all. My first winter I didn't have a way to move these bales and what I was doing was taking them apart in the area where I was storing them, putting them in tubs or in the back of my pickup in a big pile and then putting them in the barn. That The first winter I just had the girls so I would back the pickup into the barn and then dump all that into uh, little kiddie pools or actually large kiddie pools is what I used to feed for winter so uh, that was quite a chore and um, Last winter, I believe, was the first one in which I was able to use this bale dolly, and it has been great. As long as everything works well, it has been really great. If you have other creative ways in which you move things on your farm or ranch without a tractor, please share in the comments below and let us know. I would be really curious to find out how you do things. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you on the next video.